Good morning, everybody. Thank you for having me here today. My name is Moira Grayland. I'm a harpist and a singer, but I sure didn't start out that way. My mother and my father are famous gay authors. My mother is writer Marion Zimmer Bradley, the author of The Mists of Avalon and a great many other books. And my father is Walter Breen, a numismatic author who wrote many, many books about coins. Now, I, growing up, was expected to be the perfect patsy. I was expected to be absolutely in favor of all things gay, because since I was raised by gay people, I know that those bad straights are just out to hurt us. Now, here's the problem. My father believed that homosexuality is innate to all people, but that the only way to get a child to embrace his natural homosexuality is to make sure he has same-sex experience before he is old enough to be ruined by a girl. So no, we are not born gay. We are created that way by adults. Thank you very much, adults. As you might imagine, both of my parents used me. It's hard to talk about, but I will. My father and mother both very much wanted me to be gay. My father went to jail because I put him there, not for what he did to me when I was five, but for what he had been doing to other young boys since long before I was born. I tried when I was 13 to have him put in jail because he was sleeping with yet another boy prostitute under our roof. I knew because I talked to the kids. I talked to them all the time. They were my friends. They were my age. My mother and her female lover, who was with her for 20 years, did nothing. They didn't put my father in jail. They didn't make him stop. But they did have him move into their apartment, and the two of them moved home. While he was in his apartment, he had all kinds of privacy. And you can imagine what he did with that privacy. Ten years later, my father molested a child in front of me. And finally, I went to the cops. Because it was in front of me, and it couldn't be hand-waved away. And he had those books out. He had Show Me, which is a picture. It is a book, a coffee table book, of graphic sexual imagery geared at persuading children that sex is natural, as though we should all overcome our natural revulsion. Now, as you might imagine, my family was not happy with me for turning my father in. I was ostracized. To this day, they defend him. Do they defend me? No, they defend him. To give an idea of how hard it is to talk about these things, my mother has been dead since 1999. My father has been dead since 1993. He died in prison. He confessed. He tried to persuade the judge of the rightness of his perspective. He wrote a book about this that my mother edited, glorifying sex between, para between older people and younger people. My mother wrote a companion article defending lesbian pederasty. None of this should be a secret, and yet people didn't want to believe it. The only thing that they will believe is court testimony, and what is so little known is that the philosophy in the gay movement is very different than the philosophy in the rest of the world. The fundamental difference is this. Gay people believe that sex is good, all sex, all the time, between all people, and more sex will make everybody happy. Is that true? No! No, it is not true. Again, my name is Moira Grayland. I'm very easy to find online. Did I grow up churched? Not on a tintype. I was raised to believe that all you Christians are bad and trying to make everybody limited and we're evil and we hate gay people and so forth and so on. No. I wrote my story. I put it online. It can be found. It's called The Story of Moira Grayland, and it tells my story about my parents. I was nominated for a Hugo 
I didn't win, and it's just as well I didn't go to their place because at the Worldcon, I was called a bigot. Of course I'm a bigot. Being the child of gays and seeing this for myself day after day, what could I possibly be but a bigot? All of my friends are gay prostitutes. All of my friends are being given drugs by my father. Of course I'm a bigot. What else could I possibly be? Could I be a child who is living in hell? A child who tried to commit suicide the first time when I was 10 and spent my teens sleeping on couches so that I wouldn't have to be yet another victim of my parents' friends or them. In any case, my father went to jail, continuing to believe as he believed. I left California and wrote my book, which is called The Last Closet. The Last Closet will be out before Christmas. Thank you so much for listening to me. God bless you all.